looks like the sun is strong out today. I guess that's kind of nice to see some of the blue skies. It's been a while where it hasn't been, I guess, extremely cold and all that as well. And what's going on today? It's kind of interesting reading this at first. I thought it was a Zoom camera, but apparently it's with the Zoom video conference software with people using things like drones. This one says, police combine drones with Zoom for real-time response. The Oceanside Police Department faced a problem. It couldn't reliably share drone video feeds with the officers who needed them for critical situation awareness. But Zoom quickly changed that. So from the sounds of it, it starts with the general story of how more police officers are using things like drones for, I guess, tasks such as search and rescue just a lot faster than going around manually or the expensive options of using a helicopter, for example. But it says in terms of giving people feed of what the drone is actually seeing, that's an issue. It says, but getting a drone's perspective, its video feed to the right officer isn't simple. Reed said his department once used a Videoland client player based app that could, in theory, allow a live drone feed to be shared across smartphones. When a lot of people logged onto that app, however, lag would often defeat the purpose of being able to receive the feed. In other cases, an important officer couldn't get the video they needed during a SWAT operation. I guess it's just a matter of too many people trying to get the feed at once, just like everything else. It says, we've had a number of missions where they were looking for overhead intelligence as they were approaching a target. The SWAT commander was unable to pull the feed for some unknown reason. I don't know exactly what the technical problem was that caused that, but we're having that problem frequently enough that we were looking for another option. It kind of sounds like they explained their own issue. There's just too many people trying to, I guess, get the feed with things like bandwidth and all that. So apparently their solution was instead of everyone trying to get the feed from that one source, they would put the source into, let's say, a Zoom video conference and the other people would try to look at the video through that instead. It says here, enter Zoom, the video conferencing tool that the world became so familiar with during the pandemic. The Oceanside Fire Department was the first agency in the city to use Zoom with drones and suggested that their police counterparts try it out. It turned out to be an elegant solution for Reed's team, which is already acquainted with Zoom. So here it says, we use a screen share feature like if you were going to be giving a presentation on Zoom meeting and then we share the screen generally from the phone that we're using to fly the drone, log onto the Zoom meeting and launch it. We send usually a text out in our app that lets everybody know that the meeting is live with our account so we basically have the same Zoom meeting and password so that we can all quickly log in. So it's a workaround solution, although they say there is an issue, for example, with that, what happens if you're flying more than one drone with more than one feed? If everyone's only logging into one Zoom meeting, then you can only get that one feed, correct? It says, as effective as Zoom has been compared to VLC option, there's still an issue that Oceanside would like to see address. Let's say the department sends out three drones to get different perspectives on a scene. Currently, there's no way to share all three of those live feeds at the same time. I'm actually thinking too, just in terms of security, because these are for police operations. You've heard a lot of those stories before, people hacking into Zoom meetings and all that. So I wonder if this is a security issue, especially if police departments are doing sensitive operations and you're using, let's just say, I don't know, like Zoom in this case, could someone just go in and look at the material? I'm surprised that's not a concern in general. And for stories about police, this was actually really fascinating. I guess it relates more to those trucker convoy protests in Ottawa. Apparently now, I guess it says here, like the Ottawa police are gonna arrest anyone who even attempts to give them, I guess, resources. Because it says here in the notice, important, anyone attempting to bring material supports, gas, etc., to the demonstrators would be subject to arrest. Enforcement is underway. Holy cow. Does that mean if somebody goes up there and gives them like a sandwich or something like that, then they could be arrested? I'm actually really curious about the legality of that, whether or not that's valid, because I guess you could say it's aiding and abetting if they claim whatever they're doing is illegal. Like let's just say, I don't know, parking in a certain spot. But yeah, that's really stretching it though, isn't it? In terms of arresting anyone for any reason in that case.
Alright, see you guys later.